you. Welcome back to the show. It's National Bourbon Day. You know, bourbon, by the way, is an $8.5 billion industry in Kentucky. It generates more than 17,000 jobs with an annual payroll of $800 million. bucks. All right. Here to give us the Bourbon 101, we have friends from Boss Cat Kitchen and Underbelly Hospitality, Matt Sharp and Weston Gallimore. Thanks so much for being here. Happy to be here. On this yeah. national holiday. The best what, holiday. What a week it is. We've got Bourbon, National Bourbon Day. We've got Father's Day coming up. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, this is about as good as it gets it for does. a bourbon. It does. Well, and since you guys are drinking buddies in real life, it's perfect uh, that you would pair up today to make some cocktails. Before we get to mixing them up, though, we want to reveal the answer to our Click to Vote viewer poll. And the question was, when did Congress officially make bourbon the native spirit? 1867, 1910, 1964. Or 1978. Courtney, do you want to reveal the answer? I think it's already up there. 1964 is the answer. And you know what? 37% of our voters got that right. Yeah. That's amazing. Good Love job, it. guys. Okay, now to the drinks. Let's get to business. Drinks. Let's talk about bourbon. Yeah. So uh, being Bourbon Day, National Bourbon Day, uh, we thought we'd talk about uh, a couple of the founding fathers of bourbon. Over at Boss Cat Kitchen, we are, uh, we're doing the founding fathers flight. Uh, we're going to do it all weekend, starting today all the way through Sunday. So dads, if you're uh, thirsty and you want to do a little bourbon, Come on down to Boss Cat. Uh, we're talking about Elijah Craig. We're talking about Elmer T. Lee, Basil Hayden. We've got some old Forester as well. Um, and see, these are like sipping bourbons, right? I mean... And some sip faster than others, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But, okay. Uh, yes, okay. I would say these are these are some of the best bourbons out there. Uh, uh, going back to history and the founding fathers of bourbon, Elijah Craig he goes back to the 1780s. He was a uh, Baptist preacher that on the side yes, made right. really good whiskey, really good wow. bourbon. So uh, this is kind of a nod to him coming from Heaven Hill, um, which is a great whiskey. And I think uh, let's just let's just have a little whiskey in our oh, hand. Oh, okay, yeah. Twist my arm. There you go. So Cheers. what are we what are we looking for here? as far as flavor. So definitely you're getting vanilla, you're getting butterscotch. Uh, it is a higher proof, so this will put a little hair on your chest. Um, oh, wow. I like to do it over a big ice cube. As that ice melts, it just kind of softens everything up. And uh, good, good morning, that's what we say. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it warms on the way It down. does, but it, I mean, I get the vanilla. I can, yeah. And great for cocktails too, because that, that, that punch really stands out when you're mixing, like we'll do in a minute here. Um, and then if dad wants to have just something for a little sipper, okay. uh, over at Underbelly Hospitality, uh, we have the Houston Bourbon Consortium. It is Chris Shepard, chef and owner, Kevin Floyd, his business partner, and Morgan Weber. He's uh, part of the Agricole Hospitality. Uh, we went back to Kentucky this past March. I was lucky enough to tag along. Uh, I'm a good drinker, so they figured I would go. We did a <laughs> partner with the Silver Dollar, so this is the Storm Dollar. We named it after Hurricane Harvey. As part of the trip was funded by Southern Smoke, our oh, annual charity. Cool. Oh, that's uh, awesome. So Will It never lets any single barrels go out. They started distilling back in 2012. This is their six-year-old bourbon. We are lucky enough to have it. Only 161 bottles available. Only 80 came to Texas, so Dad, if you are out there, you need to come you to So they're sell yeah. you're selling them there? Yes. Okay, all right. And as, as a dad, I'd like to try a taste of that. Oh, please, absolutely. If you could just a little. <laughs> See, that's why they're friends. So <laughs> boys, in the meantime, you're gonna whip up a, uh, a drink called the Time yeah, Warp, is that it? Yes, indeed. So that is uh, a drink that we're running at UB Preserve right now. Uh, so it is almost like a bourbon pina colada. So it's gonna be bourbon, right. a little bit of a wow. hibiscus okay. and pear. And yogurt. And just kind of concocted this all up to save yogurt. us a little time. Yeah. So, so this is like a really get... liquidy yogurt then. Yes. So and we only got to about use, a like, minute. Greek so yogurt. Yeah. Shake it up. So we're gonna go straight in for this. Wow. I'm still warm from that little sip. Are you I still? Know, I know. I am. It's better than good. coffee, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. Right? No, I'm gonna have That'll this. Get one. your day going. You that. Oh, you good morning. I like how you said that. So time warp. Why the name time warp? Because you want to do it again. Oh. <laughs> See? All right. Helps to ask questions. Oh, and the glass. It's a nice tall glass. Oh, yeah. So little, if people want to come in and sip these, you guys, uh, as you mentioned, Matt, you guys are doing the flight for Father's Day. Yeah, we have a flight going all weekend. Uh, come on in. And as you know, we have over 350 whiskeys. We also are doing a steak and eggs breakfast uh, on Sunday morning. So dads, come on down to Boss Cat and uh, enjoy some whiskey. Yeah, ask for the founding father's flight. Oh. How's the time warp? That is good. Looking good? Yeah. 
Well, Weston. It reminds me of something. Thanks so much. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Thanks National Thanks so Bourbon much. Day. Happy National Bourbon Day, you guys. Day. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Thank Thank I love you. it. It is delicious. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. And a reminder, if you'd like to celebrate National Bourbon Day with Box Cat Kitchen and Libations, just visit BoxCatKitchen.com. One of my favorite places. Well, after the break, it's a topic that can be tough to talk about or even think about. Your final arrangements from funerals to memorials.